MKO Abiola founded 1985 coup that removed Buhari Fanny Kayode alleges. Femi Fanny Kayode, former aviation minister, has alleged that Moshud Kashimawo Ola Wale MKO Abiola was behind the 1985 coup. Fanny Kayode alleged that Abiola founded the coup that removed President Mohamedou Buhari from power in 1985. He claimed that the same people Abiola used to remove Buhari from power annulled the 1993 presidential election he won. The People Democratic Party PDP shifting, shifting disclosed this in a series of tweets. Feni Kayode, however, commended Buhari for, for immortalize, immortalizing Abiola with June 12 Democracy Day 35 years ago. According to Fanny Kayode, MKO Abiola founded the coup that removed Buhari from, from power in 1985, yet it was the same people he put in power that that year that annulled his election as president eight years later in 1993. What, what an irony, again, the same Buhari he removed from power in 1985 was, was, one, was one that 35 years later. Once back, once back in power, apologized for the, uh, for the annulment of his 1993 presidential election and mandate even though he had no hand in it and immortalized his name by declaring June 12th Democracy Day. This is, this is instructive. No matter what you say or think about Buhari, he, need, he did well on this one. Buhari recently changed Democracy Day from May 29th to June 12th in commemoration of Abiola following the annulment of the 1993 presidential election he won. Well, I think that is a history. You see, this life, you, you will understand that life is in turn by turn. If you do evil to people today, I tell you, tomorrow, another people will come upon that person and do that evil even more than that to the person. That is why we are saying that God has not created anybody to kill anybody or to victimize and inflict anybody. Because he said in his word that equality of everybody before him. God can't all of us to be the same. Now, even though president died today, he will go into the soil. If poor man died today, he will go to the same soil. That is what people did not know. Equality of everybody before God. Now, from this news we have just heard, in fact, it is a very interesting but at the same time, it's very heavy to say. But we will not stop saying it. We will continue to say it. Now, Abiola has a very, uh, I think, uh, the, the history about him is an accord for. He has a very bad background. He has a very bad history. Because that man has committed so many things. That is why he has not lived to even enjoy what he has put on ground. Now, if not that this history has brought out, you wouldn't have understand that he was the, the one who organized the coup that removed Buhari from office in 1985. So, uh, what we are saying is that if you, if you marginalize, you victimize, and you treat people badly, 
especially talking about what can lead to the death of somebody. I tell you, in time to come, other people will lead that same thing against you. You understand? So, Abiola has so many, uh, so many faults in life because he has betrayed so many people. That is why when his time came, he too was betrayed and he never smelled that seat of presidency. Now, when the, the, the election in 1993, he won it. You see, th there is something they call nemesis. There's something they call the law of karma or the law of gravity. Whatever that goes up must come down. You understand? Or whatever you, you know, the, the Bible told us that what you will not want another man to do to you, do not do it to him. It's a law. But people fail. They, they, they begin to plan evil against somebody. They don't know that in, in, in time we make that thing to turn against them uh, when the time has fully arrived. Look at, uh, I mean, he used, uh, according to this news, he used President, I mean, the, the, the former head of state, talking about IBB, to remove he was among the people that removed Buhari from the office. Now, in 1985, now in 1993, when the uh, civilian election was conducted, uh, Abdiola won quite all right. But who, who annulled the election? The, the, the former head of state, IBB, annulled the election of, uh, of MKO Abdiola. You see? So life is in turn by turn. We better be careful how we treat people. He won it. And uh, when, when, when Bapagda was asked, why did you annulled, annulled the election and instead you put a nation as an inter interim system of, 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 gov of government, he said that the Yoruba elders came to him and asked him to do that. Because MKO Abiola always raining insultive upon them, and some other thing he said he did to them. And there, there was news that they had uh, some Yoruba elder actually come. I think somebody revealed that, that some Yoruba elder actually come to President Muhammad Buhari, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, I mean uh, 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 IBB, that he should annul the election. And he did it, and MKO Abiola was, was kicked off. So today, I mean, instead of Buhari to, 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 not to agree with the June 12th to be the democracy day, he agreed that they should put it that way. I think for that, he has done well. You understand? He has done well. But uh, I, I think in the reign of uh, President Mohamed Buhari, from the beginning, I think he was doing well. I don't know why he suddenly changed.